Hi Jazz family, this is Katie Dalzell with Furnish. Wanted to just give you a quick preview of all the selections for your home. I'm going to walk you through step by step each selection, but wanted to just show you everything laid out together. You will see when I'm going through these details, each room has room boards where all the selections are called out. Um, they also have in your design packet, you will have each room, each selection will have a spec page. So it'll actually have the sofa, the dimensions, fiber, all of those details. So you'll be able to reference your spec book as well. And that's kind of how it works. Um, just wanted to show you a quick overview. A couple of things that we, of course, kept in mind when making these selections cool blue gray color palette um, we worked off of the existing cabinet colors which i think you'll see works well we also wanted to keep availability in mind because um, we know that you'll be moving in this home soon as well as um, price point this isn't your forever home so we wanted to keep budget uh, friendly options in mind we think we have some great ideas and we're ready to show you so let's dig in We'll start on the front porch. Here we have a nice outdoor rug, blue and white pattern there. Um, we also are suggesting four of these teak high back rocking chairs with um, two sets of cast stone um, tables in between the two sets, um, as well as these decorative pillows, outdoor pillows at each rocker. That is your uh, scheme for the front porch. We also, on the next layer with um, plants, art, and accessories, we'll be pulling in some plants for that. All right, let's move into the great room. You will see as you come in the door here, um, we are planning for two sofas right up next to these built-ins here and fireplace. So two sofas, a rug that covers the, the floor area here, an ottoman in the center, two small swivel, swivel chairs, as well as two small end tables with um, small lamps there as well. I'll walk you through those selections, and again, you'll be able to dig into the uh, spec book to see all the full details. Here is the rug we're proposing, beautiful blue pattern. Um, sofas would be this um, creamy white, very durable performance pattern. Um, it's actually kid-proof <laughs> for whatever that means. Um, the swivel chairs will be this nice, um, pretty chevron textured gray. Again, kid-proof fabric. Um, the ottoman, nice and soft for the baby to move around. Um, durable leather, and it also has a cool gray with some undertones of warmth to it. A um, couple things that we a couple of things that aren't on the proposal just yet would be these draperies. We're planning on doing the draperies and I'll show you on the floor plan. They will be at every window here in the living and dining room. Um, they would be uh, fully functioning draperies um, in this blue pattern. We'll just add a pop of color and warmth to that room and give it some character right away. And as you can see, it's just this nice, pretty subtle print. Again, we'll get to um, pricing that as soon as the house is yours. Um, another detail is this really pretty um, fabric for some custom pillows on the sofa, just to add a little small bit of interest there. But you can see how that all ties together. These are the small um, thumbnail shots, but again, you have full details in your spec, spec book package. Um, sofa, you would have two of these three cushion sofas, two swivel chairs, uh, two floor lamps. They're gonna go in between the sofa and the bookcase right there at the end there to add some nice lighting. These French gray side tables with um, these translucent glass lamps. The side table goes in between the swivel chair, leather ottoman, and then we also have these tile floral uh, framed art to go over the sofa on this wall here that opens up to the staircase. So again, sofas here, ottoman, your rug, 
lamps are gonna get tucked in here just to bring some nice light to this edge of the room. Two swivel chairs and a um, side table. As you can see, this is a lot of furniture, but you have a big family. We really feel like we want a place for everybody to come in and sit. Um, we, we focused on comfort and cozy um, as well as usability there. Okay, moving from the living room on into the dining room, I'll kind of show you those details as well. Um, as you know, you come in the front door to the right is the dining room. You have that existing pretty bronze um, chandelier hanging above. We're proposing a rug, table, and six chairs with a sideboard, and I'll walk you through those selections. Um, again, these would be your draperies. Um, you can see how they will also work for both sides of that space. Your rug is an indoor-outdoor rug, very durable, can be vacuumed, wiped up if it gets dirty, um, and a good price point as well. Host chairs, we're proposing these guys. Again, you'll have a full spec. Uh, white dining room table, it almost has um, a little bit of gray. It's a washed wood, um, as well as these upholstered dining chairs. They have a simple faint blue pinstripe running through them. This um, sideboard, again, is the same wood color as the dining table. Lots of added storage there for dishes or linens, um, extra utensils, thinking that you might need extra storage. And we also have um, an art piece as well as a mirror for you to um, look at for over the sideboard. And these simple lamps that will just add a little bit of light in that area of the room. All right, moving into the kitchen here. Not much is going on. We do have your existing shutters that we propose to keep there. Adding a runner here at the kitchen sink, as well as two bar stools. And I'll show you those selections. Um, the full cut sheet, you can see it's just an, a nice subtle blue and white weave with a white bar stool. Also your cabinet color. Also, you'll see your cabinet color is this pretty studio taupe, and you can see how it works well with all the selections as well. 